Holy Jesus there, bud. Let me explain this to you in a way that makes sense. Since you know, 99% of the world uses metric. Now a kilometer is made up of 1,000 meters. That's why it's called a kilometer, 1,000 meters. A meter is roughly three feet or one real big pace. Nice thing about metric is everything works off of decimals. Everything is divisible by 110. Therefore, 1.3 kilometers is 1,300 meters. Once you learn metric is that all the units of measurement flow well into each other. For example, one liter of water equals exactly a kilogram. That means if you were to take one cubic meter of water, a meter squared, that will equal 1,000 liters or exactly 1,000 kgs, which is one metric ton. Really easy to visualize. There, I have 500 liter fuel tanks, which means roughly I have 500 kilograms worth of fuel. Using metric even makes other conversions easier. For example, one calorie is the amount of energy needed to heat up one liter or one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. It gets even better because that one degree Celsius is just 1% of the difference between the freezing point of water, zero degrees, and the boiling point of water, 100 degrees. Everything is divisible by 10 or 100. Plus, as a truck driver, it sounds way better to say, I did 1,000 kilometers a day than I did 600 miles, and it makes other measurements seem bigger too. There you go, you just learned the metric system like the rest of the world. It's made up of things that aren't completely random numbers.